Okay, so we're checking out the only game that manages to hit a 13 on a scale that goes from 1 to 10 in insanity. It's Save the Girl. More mental trauma, damn it. Save the Girl is a game where the creators chugged gallons and gallons of LSD in order to make this happen, and I'm very glad that they did. Supposedly, the game gets even more insane than what we had before. Considering we were using our underwear to blind robbers and just spontaneously causing telephone poles to spring up from the ground through the power of our hatred, I can't wait. Karen Methodopolis, wearing her grass skirt, just got done carjacking Fred Flintstone. And you have to wonder, how does she get around? Using her incredibly sharp stilettos or whatever the hell this is. This is a game without reason. So I imagine we're just gonna pick this. Is that the skull of the devil? Even he couldn't overcome this game. He's like, ah, oh, it's too much. All right, whatever, let's go to the moon. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess I should stay in orbit. Just use my feet this time. All right, so imagine this. You're face to face with a body of water. Do you take the meat out of your pants or do you use a wooden plank? The answer is always meat in your pants. I don't know why it... All right, I gotta mention something. We just rode our car across an alligator. Like that's Florida as hell. <laughs> Pair of galoshes or drink something that'll give you wings. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you get your car stuck in the mud, it's time to snort some Red Bull. And then she immediately has a heart attack. All right, Karen, put on your sh kicking boots. We're getting out of this town. I feel like we did all that and we could have just walked. Another scary dog. Do you give him beats by Dre or throw a bone at his ass? This bone could be coated with methamphetamine, but I gotta try the beats. I. Okay, real quick, how come us wearing the headset keeps the dog away? It's like she was walking by and she was like, you can't see me. I honestly don't even know what I'm looking at here. So let's use this magnifying glass. Can someone please tell me what set us on fire? I like how if you pick the wrong answer here, you're met with immediate death. I guess I'll just use the little piece. A prehistoric TV. Maybe I can get it working. With what? Oh my God, you can enslave Pikachu. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone, I'm in retirement. Shut up, you little bastard. Get inside the TV. <laughs> it worked. Well, nothing like walking into a room that has a radioactivity symbol on the roof. Oh, we're playing Looney Tunes rules up in here. Don't have a door, you make one. You're met with a spider the size of a pizza. What do you do? Indiana Jones the sh out of it or use Windex. To be fair, Windex does kill anything. Now I'm gonna try the Windex. <laughs> the Windex is not the right answer. Wow, we didn't just scare the spider. We set it on fire. How do I open this door? With a screwdriver or with magic? I had to beat the shit out of a unicorn for this wand, so it's better work. I can't believe it. I'm being chased by a zombie and my options are a clove of garlic or a do not cross sign. I don't know if the garlic will work. How do I know he's not an Italian zombie? I could end up just being more appealing. I'm kind of curious though to see if it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> no, the zombie has evolved. <laughs> this is like a newspaper and a beer. These things shouldn't be separate. They're not mutually exclusive. Gotta wash down all the garlic and then get molesticated by a zombie, apparently. Welcome to space, everyone. Don't, don't ask how. I, I don't even know anymore. Jesus, even in space, I have to do all the damn house cleaning. I haven't killed this girl in a while. Sorry, I have to get my daily dose of torture in every once in a while. A leak, the ship is depressurizing. Use a space helmet or just shove a quilt in it. I'm not gonna lie, this seems like something I would do. It's fine. <laughs> what the hell is that thing made out of? It's like the flex tape of comforters. I don't know, maybe getting swole will fix this. Nope. Real quick, I need to know if she gets sucked outside of the entire ship. <laughs> yes! Into the void with you, enjoy the vacuum of space. My girl's been through so much, she deserves some new awful hair. Perfect. Okay, we've arrived on a new planet. Now I can screw someone else's home world up. Great, we're being pulled away by space tornadoes. Do you use a tent or a bucket of vomit? Use the vomit. I like how somehow that counts as a win. Uh, my choices are a demon, spider, and a mallet. Yeah, why not? Holy shit! Okay, let's go ahead and not shatter my entire skeletal structure. How? What? Oh. 
We were able to overcome adversity with fear. It's snowing, great. Why couldn't I get the Florida planet? I was wondering when we were going to meet an alien and it's like a giant phallic sucker thing. Finally, I get to use the goddamn stilettos. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to use like foot fungus against it. I thought I was gonna use it like a weapon. This lady's all scared of this alien. It's probably like, hey man, you got some change. You can have this mirror. Now fall in love with yourself. This seems like a bad situation. Why? All it is is an angry green thumb inside of a flying saucer. It's not so much bad, it's just weird. Oh my God, it's like a rocket launcher or Captain America shield. Little alien. I'm bringing something from planet Earth that we're very good at. Murder! <laughs> Just because I got shrunk doesn't mean the projectiles still won't kill him. Use it, damn it! I guess Captain America is legitimately the hero that we need. I'm taking your flying saucer, bitch. I like that everywhere we go, we kill everyone and then we take their stuff. And she does it with a smile on her face. Imagine this, you're at your picnic, and all of a sudden, a gang of ants looking for the $10 you owe them rolls up. What do you use? Crystal meth in a bottle or some dude's foot? What even is this? Like, am I gonna produce a severed leg from my pocket and beat the ants to death? What the fuck? Did we just like summon the foot of God from the heavens? How do you get rid of the rain? An umbrella or a freaking cannon? I feel like things are starting to go up to 11 in this game, so let's try the cannon. Yep. I think I'm starting to get there. We got done with the clouds, but now we're attacked by a wolf. Throw him a branch or I, what is this? Like a, a black hole? You know what? Sure, why not? <laughs> it is a black hole on a singularity taste. I, I don't know what this scene is trying to tell me. It's like I took a wrong turn down farmland and a group of roosters wants to beat my ass. I don't know how either of these things is going to help me. You know what? Maybe this dog doesn't want to be a dick for once and wants to help her brother out. Go get him, Fido. Oh. He finally, uh... He didn't do shit! <laughs> it spit on me! Useless ass dog! Now I have to wield the power of like this 12 inch grasshopper! I'm really happy I had been saving that inside of my skirt for just such an occasion. I like how we're in a hot air balloon and she's like, go away stupid bird. It's a bald eagle! I think it's like a felony if we, if we mess with it. Gonna hit it with a goddamn slingshot? Whatever, I hope you enjoy the taste of prison and death. We're at the zoo and we're confronted by a group of cute alpacas. Actually, they just look cute. I bet they're like this all the time, but inside they're thinking to themselves like, I want to dine on your flesh. Give it a carrot or take a selfie with it. Selfie. <laughs> I told you, what a little asshole. Alpaca spit on us and it was like, aha, now you have herpes. Yeah, I love you too. Get the hell out of the way. The robber is back. Only now he's trying to molest us on an airplane. Do you give him your wallet or beat him to death with some luggage? I'm gonna beat that stupid hat off of your- <laughs> I thought maybe we would throw it at him. I didn't know we were gonna give him a brain injury. What is our quandary here? This is like the full liquor bar. Why is there a balloon? What is this? What's a goddamn rocket pack? <laughs> we just, we just ate spinach to punch a door open on a plane. Oh, we're legitimately falling. What do you use, a parachute or a broom from Craigslist? I don't know, maybe it has like Harry Potter's DNA on it or something, totally does. Okay, we're confronted by a bird and this eagle looks crazy as hell. Look at him, he's like, I need money for crack, give me a wallet. I like how one of the options is another haunch of meat. Whatever, let's use a rocket. Even she knows, she's like, I'm going to prison for that. Oh, hey, it's the alien who we saucer jacked the last time. Welcome to Florida, little penis alien. That didn't work as I had anticipated. All right, let me go ahead and wave my magic wand and give you a mountain of debt. Wow. Starting things off with a bang over here. We're on a boat that's burning in the seas of blood while there's thunder and lightning and this walrus over here that looks like it has friggin' rabies is blocking our way. Lather them up, we're using fire axe. This is like the only time I legally get to molest a walrus. 
There you go, buddy. We're best friends now. Enjoy the seas of the damned. I like how we're at the end of this pier or boat or whatever the hell it is, and our options are a mouse or a flotation device. What is this gonna do? Since this seems like the right answer, I imagine this is going to get me killed somehow. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get eaten by a friggin' shark. Okay, I guess I have to sacrifice this little creature's life so that we may live. Okay, by little creature, it's actually the size of a friggin' chihuahua. We're on a raft. We're trying to get saved. I feel like both of these are bad options. I feel like this is going to get us blown up and this is going to get us set on fire. You know what? If I'm going to go out, I might as well go out with a bang. <laughs> or I'll just kill 200 people. <laughs> I feel like the death toll in this particular episode is a lot higher than the last one. This girl's going to hang glide in this game. She's got some big balls. What is this? It's like a hand fan or a lima bean? Is it like a Jack and the Beanstalk thing? What the hell? What does this even do? Oh. It allows her to fart her way to freedom. <laughs> what <laughs> You can use a whistle or you can call the Coke Eagle to come and save you. Hey, Coke Eagle. These little birds called you an asshole. He comes in, he's like, what'd you say? <laughs> Falling asleep behind the wheel of an airplane. <laughs> it's like she's trying to kill people. Like a bucket of water or a megaphone. I don't know. Mm. Knowing this game when this plane crashed probably fell on some innocent child. You're walking through the subway. Suddenly you see Grandma Time laying on the ground. You give her like Viagra or shock her ass awake. Shock her ass. Just because she died doesn't mean I should lose the board. I've killed tons of people in, in my pursuit of success so far in this game. I like how we're trying to get from one side of the subway to the other, and we literally came across a bomb. Cut the wires or put it in a safe. You know we gotta cut the wires. What a shit bomb. All it did was ruin my hair. Welcome, contestant. If you lose, you are out. Oh my God, it's like the freaking saw. We're both hooked up to the electric chair. Jesus Christ. What is this, an octopus or a banana peel? The difference is if you're wrong, you die. I've seen a lot of banana peels in this game and that ain't it, it's an octopus. The answer is shit. This girl just got lit up like the 4th of July and she's like, I'm fine. A microphone or a toy soldier? You're going down, Rachel Ray. This is gonna be a long day. For the last question, what is this? It's half of something. It looks like half of my soul. A watermelon or a protractor? I haven't seen a protractor since fifth grade. I don't know. The watermelon. Oh Christ, she doesn't sound very certain. I'm really starting to hate this bitch. Just die already. <laughs> All right, who do I have to kill next? Guess at what the blurry pictures are. Is it a banana or a moon? Who the hell am I up against? It looks like a UPS guy or something that looks really happy to see me. Banana? Oh shit, I was right. It's true, people have to die so that I may be the winner. This poor lady, she's like, oh, I just came back for my grandson's fifth birthday. That's nice. Now you're gonna get a, a trip straight to hell. That is a drum. Later. Ah, uh, the kidnappy unicorn. The one that caused all my problems in the first place. That's a bow, and you can take that horn and shove it up your ass. I have killed three different people so that I may live. Come and take the final challenge. Feel the speed. Oh, I'm feeling the speed, all right. I'm feeling the speed, the LSD, the cocaine, everything in this game. I have to kill this lady again. Or maybe it's like her twin sister. She's like, I just got back from a charity event. Have you seen my sister? Yeah, you can go check on her yourself. Finally, I'm the winner. <laughs> well, this game devolved from picking the right answers to killing everyone so that you may live. I appreciate that. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Save the Girl, even though we actually had to kill a bunch of girls in order to save her. Till next time, stay boxing, much love.